Europe ecosystem, most of them are very toxic. Uh, they are toxic because companies that will have succeed in Silicon Valley die every day in Europe. They die for because of lack of capital. They die because bad advice. They, they die because not the right environment, not the right hiring, etc. And, and, and the problem is that most European government tried to prevent that to happen by focusing on things that are very visible, like the obsession of co-working space we have in Europe. Uh, every time a politician go to Silicon Valley, came back and say, yeah, I want my office space too, with, with young people doing crazy things. And, and, and we have the feeling that in Silicon Valley, innovation happened because you, you put this bunch of weirdos together in, in, in a place with no walls and boom, <laughs> innovation happened. And, 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 and that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's like uh, when you take, if, if, if you take an engineer, an artist and a marketing guy together in one room, and if they are French, the difference with Silicon Valley is that they would never respect each other and they would never talk each other. In Silicon Valley, when you take this kind of diverse people in the same room, they talk together, work together, and they are not obsessed about which specialties, who and what, and, and, and you have engineers learning design, and you have designer learning engineering. In, in Europe, we, we are victim of this very old-fashioned way of thinking, like, oh, you are your job. So if you are an engineer, please don't do any design, because that will be bad for everyone. You are an engineer. like. It's like when you select a class in your life, you are stuck forever because one day in your life you learn something. And, <coughs> and that, that I think is much more important about the toxicity of our ecosystem than uh, whatever you build, like uh, co-working space and things like that. So I think incubators, co-working space, all of that, they are, they are the last step of what, how you should build an ecosystem. And the first step, is a community. So that's what we do with education. And this is why we give with education unfair advantages. Like a very good family, we try for our members to make their life very unfair from the outside. So what we do is that we, we try to take every systematic problems that every entrepreneur uh, have in France, and we try to solve it by design. So I will take a very simple example, legal, legal package. Um, most incubators offers lawyers hours to, to entrepreneurs, but that is very bad because you have this lawyer that doesn't understand, sorry, uh, you have this lawyer that doesn't understand uh, entrepreneurs, that works with entrepreneurs that doesn't understand lawyers. And, and you build this misunderstanding between both of them and it, it, most of the time it goes bad because the lawyer thinks that they are unmature and childish and they do an anti-selection of the entrepreneurs that look like the most the kind of entrepreneurs we want to see in, in, inside their services. And, and good entrepreneurs see the lawyers as just dick that doesn't provide any value and copy past template. So what is our unfair advantage with legal systems? The first thing is, what, is that we pick a lawyer that we love. So we, we spend a lot of time with a lot of lawyers. The second thing is that we bring the lawyer to our workshops we bring the lawyers to our classes. We, we, we learn to code to our lawyer. We learn him how to use Dropbox. We learn him to how to use Asana. We did this deep cultural work on him. And now the last thing we did is that we take all this documentation and we bring it to every single VC in this town. And we talk it with them like, do you like these legal terms? Why? No, etc. And so we, we try to prevent in the beginning all, this, all the problems that will appear when, when entrepreneurs negotiate. So we did that job that every lawyer did in the Valley very naturally 20 years ago, that building very standard documentation. Don't be smart about your legal. And so every entrepreneur that enters inside the family, find a lawyer that understand him and that he can interact with, so he has the feeling that they share the same culture. He find a very standard documentation that everybody already know on the market and that everybody agree on. And we are very proud to say that now in average, a closing in France is six months. If you ask France Digital, for example, that is 
uh, they explained you that in average, a closing takes six months. Yeah. Between the time an, an investor decides to invest and the time he invests, it takes six months. At the family, it takes an average a month. So that's a huge unfair advantage. It, and, and that makes your life less toxic. <laughs>